Bally Giblin had a brilliant win in the All Ireland Junior final. They beat Eastgate one sixteen to eleven. So two teams from I suppose Connacht counties that wouldn't necessarily be expected to win hurling all Ireland's both coming up a little bit short in the finals but giving great efforts and I saw that they're ho holding up a banner after the game this one's for you Potty obviously Potty Palmer who uh, passed away recently uh, iconic journalist down in Cork but um, yeah so a training pitch goal from Darren Flynn really Mark uh, Keane behind the throw in for the breaking ball uh, James O'Sullivan he was brilliant in the game he got some great points and there was a bit of a Hawkeye controversy as well yeah, to, just on the Mark Keane thing, um, am I wrong in saying, you know the way they, the linesmen tend to come in on the pitch now to have everybody back? Mm. Is, it the, is it the 65 or the 45 the players are supposed to be back at for the throw-in? The half-back lines, half-forward lines? I think it has, well, some pitches the 65 is the midfield line. Yeah, yeah but, so uh, I think it's supposed to be behind the 45, yeah. Yeah, I think they are, <laughs> but like, so the officials would definitely not be happy with Mark Keane been behind the throw in half a second after the ball was thrown in and I think it was was it nine seconds the ball ended up in the net all of a sudden it's like um Owen Merchant's goal in the football final a couple of years ago that's it's like a I definitely think it was something that they practiced or taught that maybe could happen and Mark Keane kind of said as much after but that was a great start for Bally Giblin in fairness Eastie came absolutely flying back into it uh Andrew Kilcullen was brilliant up front but there was a definitely there was a controversy with uh, a free he took out the Hogan stand side that was given, but the, the Bally Giblin keeper had been waving it wide. Dara Flynn took a shot about 15 seconds later from the resultant puck out. The Hawkeye came up, but it didn't show the Dara Flynn effort. It showed Andrew Kilcullen's free, but people didn't realise they were showing Kilcullen's free. So for like another 20 minutes and a half, um, Eski had a point that had been taken off them. So... I think in that sort of scenario, if that happened in, you know, or, you know, I'm not saying that this wasn't a big game, it obviously was, but that happened in an all semi semi-final or final, I think you have to stop the play and explain to the sideline about what's after happening. Like, I was listening to it on TG Carter and the lad said no, I think, until like a minute before half time. I think something like that, while the referee might know, I think something like that has to be um, conversed with someone and the information spread because otherwise we end up with a, a situation. Hawkeye didn't do anything wrong the information just wasn't, um, you know, it wasn't given back to people, so people were left in the dark. But Eastgate, like having started poorly, made this a real, real battle. But again, it was just a, it was a little more pronounced than the intermediate final. It was just a bit too much class from a, a Bally Giblin point of view. Um, the the, the centre forward was a James O'Sullivan. Um, mm. He kept he kept finding really good pockets of space coming out around the middle of the field. Hit a couple of real good long range points. Um, and his freeze, his freeze from distance were, you know, superb as well. And I was going to tweet it at one stage. Um, is there, is there a crossroads in Bally Giblin? Because they, he, they must have said Honda crossroads about fifty, about 50 times. Um, and just on Potty Palmer as well, there was a lovely, a lovely tribute to him in Parky Rin before that Munster League game yesterday. Obviously, uh, such a huge personality and uh, such a huge personality and a much loved, uh, much loved character around Cork.